These are the steps to administer an SBAC summative test for your students. First step, go to casp.org, C-A-A-S-P-P dot O-R-G, enter. You'll see on the top row of the green buttons, we want to do the test administrator interface. This is for the actual or block assessment. Practice and training test is for the practice test. So the teachers must go through the test administrator interface. Click on that button. Username, first name, dot, last name. Now some teachers are going to have a dot and a number afterwards. You have to make sure you use what is given to you through your email from CASP when you created your um, password. So my password, whatever I've created from the email that was sent to me, I'm going to log in. Allow for pop-up blockers. So it's going to give you a little notice. So I'm just going to wait to see if the notice appears. Here it says the pop-up blocker is turned on, so I need to turn it off. So I go to the red X in the upper right. I click. I'm going to allow for pop-up. Click done, and I'm going to reload the page so that it will take care of that pop-up. Now I notice that I'm in the live tests. I need to make sure that I choose either the category or the grade. It's easier if you choose the grade. The first test is the summative, the second is the classroom activity, the third is the performance task. So the summative and the performance task are on the computer. The classroom activity is what you do with the students in your class before the performance task. I choose grade. I'm just going to select high school. I'm going to choose the subject. I'm going to just choose ELA. You'll notice that it has grade 11, summative, ELA, performance task and it gives us a whole bunch of options you need to use the list that is for our county and our school to know which one for the school each school will have a different performance task but the first test that you do is the summative I click on the summative ELA test, start my session. I then use the session ID. I write that on the board. I give it to my students. They're going to enter the information using the secure app, either on the Chromebooks or on the desktop. They have to use that app. I'm going to approve those students. They will then start the test. At the end of that period, you would stop the session it will ask, are you sure? Yes. Again, if you needed to do for your next period, you specify which test it is, summative. You'll see IAB, which is the block. That's not what you're giving. So for the next period, click on the summative, start session, write the session ID on the board for that period, approve the students, and have them continue the test. At the end of the period, stop your session. For the performance task, you give the scripted lesson from SBAC. You then have them worked on that. Afterwards, you go to the performance task. So you have to choose the right performance task. Each school will have its own performance task. Click on the performance task, start the session, Write the session ID, approve the students, and at the end, stop the session. Do OK. At the end of the day, make sure that you log out. To see what is your particular performance task, you would go to Teacher TA Resources, Summative Assessments. We are looking for the classroom activities. We are going to look at our county, Monterey. We're going to look at our school, Salinas Union High School. And it will show us this particular document that tells us what is the particular ELA performance task or math performance task. Once I know what the performance task is, I just make sure that I enter it into my test.
To find out what the directions are, I go to the Teacher Resources, Summative, Instructions for the Classroom Activities. I now choose ELA or Mathematics for my particular test that I am giving. It will load and this is the directions. It tells me the resources. It tells me what I need to say. It tells me exactly what to do. So again, the website that you should always be referring to is CASP, C-A-A-S-P-P dot O-R-G.